it is a rainy and stormy day today. Um, they're calling for just like some thunder showers today and lots of rain. So today is a good day to go ahead and get everything clean that needs to be cleaned. It's a Monday and we had church yesterday and after church, we're not even going to lie to y'all. I was just kind of lazy all afternoon until we went back to church last night. Um, Brent um, grilled hamburgers for us for lunch and then we went to Zaxby's and picked up supper after church last night. So I've got a lot I need to get done today. But my main focus today is going to be on cleaning the bathroom. So anyways, I need to get started. But right now, I'm going to get my bed made and just do a little bit of cleaning in my bedroom. get all those dirty clothes over there and get those put in the washing machine and y'all look over that basket right there because for now I just have that basket sitting there with the towels in it that's not staying in here that's way too small I need to get a bigger basket to put in here to put my towels in but for now I just got that there until I find one because I have not found one yet but anyways we're gonna get this bathroom clean y'all I don't know if you can see like the like the crown molding up there but it needs to be wiped down, y'all. It's got a lot of dust and dirt on it. Same with the baseboards. So I just need to get all this cleaned up. So we're gonna get started. Let the anthem rise up. Let the song ring out. Let the ground now tremble. As we raise a shout Let the anthem rise up Let the song ring out And let the ground now tremble As we raise a shout Oh, there's only one name We lift up a shout We lift up a shout We lift up a shout, we lift up a shout. Oh. Y'all, I should have went around the top of the bathroom walls before I started cleaning off the sink, but I didn't. Didn't even think about it, didn't cross my mind. But I've got this. This is like, it's not stiff, but it's kind of like, I don't know what you call it. But anyways, I found this at the Dollar Tree months ago. And so I just take my broom handle off and attach it to this. And I'm going to go around the walls of that. And the broom I'm actually using now, I got at the Dollar Tree as well. And y'all, I love it. I like it better than I do the brooms that they have at Walmart because I bought one from Walmart and didn't like it and ended up just buying one at the Dollar Tree. And I love it. So anyways, I'm going to take the handle and put it on this and go around the walls. So, I'm hoping I don't have to re-wipe my countertops after that. I don't think I will. We'll see. I may or may not. I don't know.
To run to the Dollar Tree and um, for a minute there's a couple things I need to pick up so I may take a break and go <coughs> hey Kyle will you open up the um, sliding doors and let them go out on the deck um, we bought the little um, paper plates but they're trays at the Dollar Tree because y'all we have very strange dogs our dogs will not eat out of a um, dog bow they refuse to eat out of a dog bow. I don't know why, but if you give them a dog bow, then they just, like, will not eat their food. So, they only eat out of, like, paper plates, but always buy the little trays because the trays are just easier and they're just, just perfect size. But they were out of them, so I just picked up a pack of paper plates. Can you sit over here? Y'all, I'm sitting at the... I'm sitting up on a bar stool, so... <laughs> that's the reason I look like I'm sitting lower. I'm just sitting on a bar stool. And then, um, Kyle wanted to try these, um, cotton candy popsicles. He's never tried these before, but he did eat one on the way home. And were they good? He said they were good. And then we normally always pick up these, um, Sour Patch Kids, um, watermelon popsicles. We pick up these at the Dollar Tree, y'all. They're only $1.25 and you get five of them. So, and he loves those. So, we picked up two boxes of those. And let's see. I just picked up Brent three of these Hot Pockets. We got a Philly cheese steak, and we got a jalapeno steak with cheese, and a buffalo style chicken. Just picked up those for just a quick lunch for him at work one day this week. And then I picked up two of the chicken bouillon powders. This is already done in powder, and y'all, we love these in beans. Whenever I make beans, um, if I don't have ham to add into them, then I will just add bacon grease and add some of this. And y'all, they are delicious. We love them with these. Actually, now, even if I have ham, we've got to where we don't even put ham in our beans because I add this with bacon grease. And y'all, they are so good, aren't they? Mm -hmm. We absolutely love them. So, I picked up two more of those. And then I've got several... Michelinas, Michelinas, I think. I think you got Michelinas. So we got. Let's see how many of those we get. All right. So kind of like these sometimes, just for lunch, just as a quick and easy lunch to grab. So um, they're a dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree, and I think they're a dollar thirty-four at Walmart. They used to be ninety-seven cents, y'all. I mean, they've gone up so much because. Um, one day Ty asked for them at the Dollar Tree, and I was like, oh, no, you can get those at Walmart for $0.97. Cents. We'll just get them when we go there. Yeah, we went to Walmart, and they were $1.34, so <laughs> now we're buying them at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so, we picked up two of the beef and peppers. I really like these. 
We got two of the chicken fried rice. I like this, and Kyle wanted to try one. I don't think he's ever tried them, so he wanted to try good. that one. They're good. And then Kyle really likes the penne with um, chicken, so I got him three of those. So, anyways, that's what we picked up at the Dollar Tree. Just thought we'd show y'all. Oh, yeah, forgot the, <laughs> forgot the basket. Um, you know, whenever I was cleaning the bathroom, I showed y'all that I had took the um, tall, um, what is it, metal tray out of whatever it's called, the tall metal thing, um, tiered thing, out of the bathroom. And I have the little basket in there, and I told y'all that it was too small, that I need to get another basket. Well, I still haven't been able to find a, bas find a basket. I have looked online, and I still can't find one I really want. So, while we were at the Dollar Tree, I saw this basket. And y'all have been wanting one of these anyways, just for like when we go on vacation. It's just easy to grab and go with your stuff, like, you know, just for whatever. Um, but I seen this, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to grab that white one, and I'll stick it in the bathroom, and we'll use it right now to put towels in. And then whenever I find a basket, that a wicker basket, you know, I want like a wicker basket. Whenever I find a basket that I actually really like from there, then I can still just have this to use for going on vacations or whatever because it's what I like them for. Anyways, you can put fruits, vegetables, anything in this, like when you go to the garden or whatever. Yeah, like to, you know, I can take this with me when I go to the Amish to put my stuff in or just whatever. So right now I'm going to use it to put towels in in the bathroom and then I'll use it for all that stuff later. So we got that as well. And this was only $3. So I thought that was a good deal on that because that's a good size. See, it's sitting beside me. It's almost as big as me. <laughs> I mean, not really. <laughs> Anyways, um, I got that. So that's all we got. But just thought I would show y'all what we did pick up. cleaned up now um i didn't show y'all doing the living room because the living room i just kind of went through and swept and um mopped did i mop the living room yeah swept and mopped and um 
just wiped down the couch, you know, got the dog hair off. I did not dust the furniture in there, but I pretty much got everything done. I'll dust the furniture in there later. And then, y'all, I am going to... I have so many t-shirts. I have, like, y'all, I couldn't tell you how many t-shirts I have. I am a jean and t-shirt girl. I love to wear jeans and t-shirts. So, I have tons of t-shirts. But I had my t-shirts folded and put in my drawer, dresser drawer, because there's no room in my closet for them. I finally um, got all my winter clothes, or all my fall and winter clothes out and put those in bags. And um, got those under my bed. I picked up bags at the Dollar Tree a while back. I will have to show y'all. They work so good. I love them and so glad that I decided to do that. Kai got his put away too. But anyways, I got these. I ordered these off of Timu about a month ago and I haven't used them yet. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to take my good t-shirts that I wear out and I'm going to hang these up on or I'm going to hang them up on these. These are just the, the little hangers you know, that you can hang this one. I think you can hang five things on it. So, I'll be able to hang at least 30 t-shirts. And yes, y'all, I have way more than 30 t-shirts. I know it's crazy. It's an addiction. It's crazy. But anyway, so I'm going to do that. And that way I can get all my good shirts hung up and all my shirts that I just wear like for every day. I can just take and put those in that other drawer as well because I don't have enough space in my one drawer to put all those. So, I need another drawer. So, this will give me space in another drawer. t-shirts hung up on these and y'all that made such a difference so like I said you can do five on each one and yes I know these are backwards I'll have to redo that later but right now it's okay so I had six of them and so I've got my t-shirts hung there and y'all that's so much better I had one good t-shirt left that I just hung up right there because it wouldn't fit. Now Kai is wanting some for his room, which would be great for his closet as well. 